welcome today i want to take you through the penalties during marking of chemistry paper one and paper two you know no students they read a lot they have content but there are some small small mistake which students make and when they get their results at the end of uh, the year in form four they find that they grade the score in paper one or paper two chemistry generally the grade in chemistry is not what they expected these are some of the penalties or the mistakes the students do uh, chemical right number one we want to talk about creating chemical equations uh, a chemical equation that are well balanced score i have a mark when you balance a chemical equation you get to have a mark when you write the chemical formulas correctly you need to not have a mark so chemical symbol must be well written that is they must start with a capital letter followed by a small letter where a symbol has two letters so for example if it is sodium n should be capital a should be small magnesium capital m and then mg and that m should not touch the other letter no letter should touch the other uh, when writing the chemical equation look at this here this equation here zinc reacting with hcl if you do what this student did the wrong one here the wrong font size if this font the z is small then you don't score that one is wrong a wrong chemical equation so you need to check on that the symbols zinc chloride is written as that this is the correct way the first equation uh, the first chemical symbol that is the, the correct way of writing that the second one is wrong what is wrong there the simple states uh, balancing must not be in contact right the simple the state must not be in contact with the it must not touch the chemical uh, simple the letter where we have a uh, chlorine for example or aluminium don't write the capital letter like this one here this one is wrong so aluminium a should be capital and then r uh, uh, l should be small letter like you have seen it there equations which are well balanced but have wrong or missing state symbols are penalized i have the marks unless the equation is that of an organic chemistry for example this one here there is no penalization of the anything a chemical equation that are not simplified did not score for example here if you write two or four two four this one uh, you should have simplified it for to remain two here one here and two here so this one is wrong do you want to score that questions that have several correct points a wrong answer will cancel a correct answer scored earlier in the same question for example if a question requires two correct points and a candidate writes three correct points and the fourth wrong point the candidate will score one point and the fourth point will cancel the second correct point therefore it is advisable for the candidate to write the exact number of points required don't write more than you are asked to write calculations are marked consequently a wrong step earlier in the question is penalized once and the rest of the working marked according to the wrong calculation if you transfer the wrong calculation to the next step it will be marked correct so if you get the first answer wrong that was required to be used in b and you use that wrong answer in b you are going to score your marks if a candidate omits units which were in the stem that is 
units that are indicated in the question, there is no penalty. But if the student does not write the units that was not there in the question, then there is a penalty. I have a mark is gone. A unit like K kilojoules, the correct way of writing kilojoules, letter K should be small and J capital. If you don't write that way, that one is penalized. A question requiring an identity of a substance. A substance can be identified using a name or a correct chemical formula. But if you are asked to name and you give a chemical formula, you score zero. A question that requires naming of a substance. Strictly, the answer must be a name and not a chemical formula. I want to show you an example here, for example. If I have this question here, this is a survey question. Question A asks, name three starting materials in the manufacture of sodium carbonate. We know ammonia is the starting material, but the question says name, and you as a student, you write a chemical symbol, ammonia, the first one. It is correct, but if you can, you will not score. Because if it is the name, you give the name. If it is identify, if you have been asked to identify the starting materials, you can use either the correct chemical symbol or give the name. But name, if you have been asked to name, please give the correct name. Like here, the answer here should be ammonia gas, calcium carbonate, the name, and not the chemical uh, and note the chemical symbols. So the correct answer is ammonia gas. Question requiring identifying of substance that can exist in dilute or concentrated should be uh, written. For example, if you during dehydration we need concentrated sulfuric acid if you don't write concentrated sulfuric acid you won't to, you will not score if we are doing dehydration a dilute sulfuric acid cannot do dehydration therefore if it is concent it, the question requires you to write concentrated you write concentrated if it requires you to write dilute you write dilute sulfuric acid very nice Drawing of structural formula. A student must show the skeleton of all the bonds involved. The first one is correct. Here, this alkyl group here, the methyl group, should be written as in, in part A, or the, the first one. The second one, if you write like this, it is wrong. It is considered wrong. For two methyl propane, this is wrong, and the first one is right. Avoid those mistakes. A question that requires candidate to describe must be say, sequential. It must be sequential, step by step in that is. If it is not step by step, you will not score. A question that involves differentiating or distinguish two substances, you should distinguish by using while. If you don't draw the table, for example, here you can look at this example. Distinguish between ethene and ethene. Ethene will decarbonize acidified potassium manganate seven solution because it is an saturated organic compound. While ethene will not decarbonize acidified potassium manganate seven solution because it is saturated organic compound. Very nice. A question that requires candidates to compare substances, the only thing you need to do is to give the differences and the similarities.